We are back for more XCOM. We are about to launch this mission to... Let me just make sure everybody, I actually gave them what I want them to have. Uh, yeah, I think so. All right. We are launching on a very difficult abduction mission, and what I decided was that one of the most important things I can do here is capture a berserker. Um, and so that's what my goal is. This is also... Uh, so this is a very difficult mission, and it's in Russia. And... The panic is pretty bad there right now. The it's very close are anyway. More brazen every day. More brazen every day. In of attacks in broad daylight. We're the only Even though it's night. To this threat, so we should get down there. Do you think the cops do anything? Do you think they're like, oh, an alien, and they try to handcuff them? I don't think so. Um, oh, this fucking map. Okay, this one. Big Sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Here's okay. Shut up, guys. This is what worries me about this one. Watch your backs out there. It's pretty small, which means a lot of shit will be packed up in the same area. I'm going to try and play as carefully as possible. That means for the first turn, I want everybody behind cover somewhere, even if it's half cover. And I don't want them to move up very quickly. Meld is not the priority, nor is leveling people up, though I wouldn't mind getting either of those things, uh, either of those criteria met. The priority is finding a berserker, a mutant berserker, and capturing him. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. And we have two people who have um, uh, arc throwers. We have Mary and we have Becky. Now, neither of them is invisible. I would love to make one of them invisible, um, but I can't do that. Let's. I don't want to push Michaela up so far. Um, so if I'd had the sniper here, I would have probably given her the arc thrower just because she can become invisible. And I would like to make someone who can capture aliens effectively invisible, because it's just extremely good to be able to do that. But I'm not going to worry about it too much. We're... Okay, here's sec... hopefully not sec the pod. Um, uh, mectoid. Okay, I see the meld. I'm probably going to move in that direction, even though, as I said, it's not really my priority to do that. Go ahead up here, Lord Archivold. Two turns? Really? Um, we could do a run and gun up there probably next turn. I guess. Moving. Uh, go ahead and move up here, Resix. We'll set up to be able to do that, but it worries me a little bit. Um, Snooky, you can go up here. Do you see anything horrifying? No. That's good. Um, the one thing I do want to do is keep... Can I move someone over here? I would probably see one of these aliens if it were over there. I guess there could be aliens in this tiny little corner. I doubt it, though. Maybe on the other side of this van. I doubt it. I feel comfortable enough to move Becky over here. I wouldn't have put her ever on the opposite side of that van. Um... So now we've got Connor. Connor, you can come over here, and then we'll move Michaela last. Uh, and I'll put her just in general in this central area up this way. Um, yeah, I'll ever go on Overwatch. Okay. So everybody go on OW, and I'm going to set up for a next turn meld get. And it makes me a little nervous because I hear a sectopod. So, like, could Resix die here? I suppose it's possible. Um,. Like, maybe what we could do is have Michaela move up to see what's going on first. Like, we could move Michaela here. Let, actually, let's see if Rezix can actually run and gun to the meld. Yes. So it is possible. Can Becky do it too? No. Uh, she can move up to full cover, though. So that's, that's good. So I'm going to put Michaela here. Yeah. Enemy troops. Okay, what do we see? Three mutons, no berserker. Um. Okay. So now the question becomes, is it actually worth running and gunning someone up there? Because I could run and gun you up here put you on this side, and I could just commit to killing this set of guys. I don't really care about capturing these dudes. Um, what kind of rocket do you have? You have a huge shredder rocket that will hit the meld, hit that vehicle. Um, Michaela is capable of either shooting one of these guys for 10 damage, 
or using collateral damage, blowing up one of these vehicles and hitting the guy at the same time, and then leaving them open to get hit by someone else. The reason I'm anxious to put Rezix on this side of the meld is because I'm worried that an alien in here, like around this area, will see her and then be able to flank her. So that's what's going on here. Um, Lord Archival, do you have a better rocket on either of these guys that doesn't hit the um, meld? No, you don't. Okay, so I guess that was poor placement on my part. Um, Connor, you definitely won't if the other guys don't. So, how valuable is this meld to me? That's really what the question is right now. Snooky, do you have a rocket? I don't know if I actually checked you. Oh, there's a... Sp That's a pretty interesting rocket. Hmm. I don't think we want to do a shredder, and the reason for that is that I think I might want to later use a shredder. Also, I want to make sure that that car definitely blows up. Okay, I feel good about this. All right. Uh, hopefully you're not intimidated. That would be bizarre if you were. Okay, so now... There's this guy just floating around in the open. I am more comfortable doing this. Alright, this will be kind of cool. He'll, he'll live through this. Yeah, that's okay. So now, now here's what we do. I think we run up with Becky, and I'm pretty confident down. we'll be able to use Becky to pop that guy in the face. I want to make sure that he's flanked. And I think I can do that from here. Okay. Whoa, we saw another alien. That's probably just that other one. 67. That's not good. What about with a pistol? 87. Take two 72s on this guy. Good. I feel good about that. Now we've got one more alien. Now, this is where we do our fancy run and gun. Up to the meld. Pick it up. Put you in a position that I think is pretty effective. That's what we're looking Ooh, for. we see the other meld. Grab the meld. Hit this guy for 268s. I think that's better than an 80. Nice. Good job, Rezix. Okay. And now we've got, like, spare turns here. So... Go ahead up here. I'm not worried about seeing anything. Um, we could probably even dash you, Connor, to put you in a good rocket G position. So get up there. Okay, cool. So we even have an overwatch. I think I handled that turn pretty well. Mutons didn't get to a tab. What do we have here? Okay, there's a sectopod and a sectoid. I guess I would capture the sectoid if possible, just to get another... Uh-oh. I don't think he's going to have a chance to be captured. <laughs> I was going to say to get another plasma pistol. So, Lord Archibald's who hair, whose hair has grayed... Did that, did that sectopod go on... Or, I'm sorry, uh, mactoid go on... Overwatch? Normally they do. Uh-huh. You're probably going to be fine. Uh, I'm a little nervous that it went on Overwatch. But I just spent... Oh, looks like Becky's here. I'll, re I'll be back in a moment. All right, we're back, and i got to figure out where I am and what's going on. Uh, it's been a couple of hours. Okay. What I remember is killing a bunch of mutants all in one turn, and then a mectoid coming out, and also a sectoid getting douched by a much older Lord Archibald now. So everybody have ammunition, Becky, arm your shotgun. Now, this guy probably has an overwatch shot. Um, so I want to eat that, if possible. Where's Rezix? Because I think she also has lightning reflexes, and she does. So let's move her up against this wall and see what happens. I'm on the move. Nothing, but you also can't see him. Okay. So quickly run by this window. Okay, good. <laughs> it's like right by the window. Okay. Well, um, not sure if she's gonna have any cover now. I'm gonna have to. Oh, good, she does. Okay. So now that that's taken care of, we can at least 
do something about this. I might want to shred this guy, so let's keep open that possibility. Michaela, you are not going to be able to punch him in the face. I can tell already. Becky, yep. I don't think you have a single possible shot on this guy unless now you do through this like large gaping hole that was just created. Um, but before I move you there, I might want to move this gent, Connor, around. Um, so can you hit him with your new found heat ammo? Yes, I believe so. And one thing to keep in mind is that there might be aliens in here too. Uh, where would we want to aim? Uh, there? I think I want to shred this guy. We've got so many rockets, I think it's foolish not to use them. Oh. Okay. Uh huh. I see. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. So. Now let's use a lot of rockets. Um, you have heat ammo too. Why don't you... Let's just use as many rockets as we can and need to. And not miss with any of them. Okay. Yeah. Um, you use a regular rocket. Don't miss. That would be bad. Hopefully you'll kill the sectoid too. I think this will hit the sectoid. Maybe. Okay, that guy's definitely dead. Uh, kind of worried what's going to happen to Lord Archibald over here. Uh, let's get Michaela in the line of fire. Okay. Because um, I'd rather she take a barrage of hits than a flanked other guy. Like Lord. Is he dead? I can't see him. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't think anybody's going to be targeting Becky either way, but maybe moving... Uh, now I'm really actually worried the most about Snooky. I should have done some extra math trying to figure out how much damage that mech toy was going to take. I could fire a grenade back in there. That is probably the right idea, but I don't know quite where it is. Is this... What would be the right... How about right there? I think that should hit it. Yeah, fire this. I'd rather you do that than go on Overwatch. I hear a noise like something's exploding. Yes! <laughs> so then this guy comes out and he laughs maniacally. And then he decided that he was outmatched. Okay. So... What are some things to worry about? Is there any way to pick up that meld? Is that greedy of me at this point? I mean, basically we just spent like a million and one rockets. 69 rockets. Um, where's Becky and where's somebody else who can run and gun? Because that's what we would need to do here. Um, I feel like thinking about that meld is super greedy. But I think I would be able to get it. Let's wait until the end of this turn. Actually, if I'm going to dash someone somewhere, I probably want to do that before the end of the turn. Let's be honest about that. I think this is a good spot. I don't think anybody's going to get hit. You see any asshole aliens back? No. Good. All right. And then Resix, if we really wanted to make a go for that, I can move you. Maybe I just should have done that from the beginning. Uh, there's one sectoid that I know about that I don't really care about and maybe I could capture. Rolling out. Yeah, I'm making a go for this meld. Don't see any aliens? Feeling pretty good about that. Um, should I underestimate a sectoid? Yes. I think I am prepared at this point in my okay. XCOM career to underestimate a sectoid. Oh, he's right there. And now we can't see him. I it, Like, the physics of buildings on fire is sometimes a problem in this game. I know, I know you guys probably know that, but, like, sometimes you just can't see somebody you could just a minute ago, even if the cover's destroyed. Sometimes destroying the cover hides somebody, which is unfortunate. Um, that sectoid cannot kill any of my guys. I'm not even sure it can bring any of my guys, except uh, maybe Snooky or Lord Archibald, down to a point where they have to heal at all. Um, okay, good. You've got a shot. 
Uh, you're already leveled, though. Is there anyone else who can do that? I mean, Michaela, you're leveled, too. You're all leveled all the way up, so... I don't need to capture this guy. Just go ahead and take this guy out. Oh, Snooky. This mission could have just been over, maybe. And then I wouldn't even have to worry about... Well, it's... I could just finish this now and then not worry about going for the meld. But in the case that there is something else... Um... Yeah, just do this, Michaela. There won't be anything left. Out of ammo. All right, there's more. Okay, so I'm glad that um, you see that. I'm paying attention here because there's more shit on this map to deal with. Are those guys, did Lord Archibald and Connor now have the same voice? It's how this entire building is now collapsing. I feel bad for this, like, restaurant owner. Like his kitchen's now just. What, like a, a fry oven? Like, a, I don't know, like some kind of fry cook in a, in a refrigerator? <laughs> okay. So, Mary. Let's run and gun you. I probably should have just moved you rather than running and gunning you. I should have gone move, run and gun. Okay, cool. Meld is cool. Uh, I guess the remaining aliens have to be over in that direction. Um, should we put Becky up here? Yeah, sure. Aye, aye, Commander. Enemies in sight. What the? F How did she see it? What just happened? Great, we've already moved our people. Can I? No, I can't quite get up there. You need to reload. What do you have a shot on? I might take that shot, Ruzix. Um. Now let's get people into legitimate cover and whatnot. And... Who else has to move? I think this spot is going to be key, but I'm not sure I want to open this door just yet. I'm going to have to think about that. Hmm. See, there's this awkward half cover. Okay. Connor, what can you see from here? I'm not going to fire a rocket through those that door. Would potentially be willing to do it. I don't know. Um... You don't have a rocket. You do have a grenade, though. What if I put you here? Blackest. Nothing. Um, I don't think I want to open that door. I'm hesitant to do that. Um, what if I moved... Michaela over here. I don't think she'll be visible because I think that's two full cover slots. Oh yeah, okay. That's bad. Well, now I'm not sure if it's full cover at all. Um, but I guess we just gained some intel. Hmm. Alright. Take the shot or hunker down. Take the shot. I don't want that guy to have a shield. Shit. At least you hit the van. I think it might be on fire. It is. That's kind of good news, maybe. Um, Becky, you're not going to be able to hit shit, so I think get into cover in case that Mactoid, which I've never seen this before, has, like, rocket boots. Um, I can fire a grenade and blow up that van, but I think I want to reload with you. No, you're probably going to pound him in the face next turn. So go ahead... Oh, you can't shoot a good grenade. Your grenade sucks. Okay, just go ahead and reload. I think I misplayed with Michaela that turn. What gave it away? Probably the Overwatch shot. Okay. So let's see what this guy does. Hopefully he walks into a bunch of Overwatch shots. Oh, that's unnerving. Is he just moving twice? Nice job, Connor. Good shot. So he didn't know... He, he basically dashed because he was unsure where anybody was. What the hell is this? Oh, this is a joke. Okay, this is the game on Classic AI even being an idiot. I love it. Okay, so... The end result was that the Mectoid got hurt when it didn't need to. So... Mary, if you finish this job... You might get promoted.
Connor, we want you to, you know, level up and stuff too. I'm so confident that this guy is going to die. I'm just going to go ahead and fire without moving. Alright. So, then we want Mary to finish the job. Should we use this classy uh, laser pistol? Yes. Alright. I feel bad for the mech toys in the suits. I heard sec toys in the suits. Their lives might not be very good. All right, cool. That worked out well. I don't think anybody heard uh, a lot of mechtoids on that mission, though. Again, no berserkers to capture, which was sort of the point. That was what I was excited about, anyway. Our troops are making it look easy out there. They are making it look easy. So, Snooky, you are completely leveled up at this point. Do, I, do we want Rocketeer or Mayhem? That's always a good question. Rocketeer is better for longer missions, but Mayhem is... We have so many heavies that I think we're probably going to end up with like a couple heavies in a lot of missions, making less rockets, less valuable than more damage. So go ahead and take more damage. Um, good job, Connor. I'm pleased with what you've been doing. Do, do Danger Zone. I, I like Danger Zone. Um, good. Extra conditioning makes you a lot uh, more capable of living. Uh, good. Remember... We will be watching. What are, what are they going to be watching about? What's going on in here? So we have some satellites we're going to be launching very, very soon. Um, and I don't think there's any reason not to do it now. Actually, I can think of some reason. Commander, um, our satellite is prepped and standing good. by for launch. Because... We are ready to deploy it on your orders. If, if, now hear me out, if... Um, those three countries get bombarded by abductions. I'll want the satellites later at the end of the month. That's right, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, I just don't want to forget. I'm worried I'm going to forget. That's what I'm worried about. Um, okay, so scan. I wanted to see who we got. Oh, good. Critically wounded soldier to survive longer without medical assistance. Yeah, that's good. Um, and we got new soldiers. We're going to have to come up with names for them. Let's see. Uh, let's view. No, no. We don't want to look at the memorial yet. That's too depressing. We have a new sniper. No, it's not quite a... Uh, not quite a support, but that's okay. We only had one of those before, so that's not the end of the world. Um, might want to hire another soldier then. Um, let's just hire, like, three. Um, I just got so much money right now, I don't even know what to do with it. Uh, build facilities. I kind of want to blow up these power generators and put in a lyrium generator. Is that... Is that greedy of me? <laughs> um, it might be. I, I could also, like, blow up this workshop. That seems like a bad idea. Um, so let's remove this power generator. Um, we'll probably remove that one, too. Go ahead and build an Illyrium generator. That takes up power sources. That's bad. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, then we can probably remove this very, very soon and build, like, a workshop, I guess. We could just do that right now. I probably could have removed it and built an Illyrium generator and then turn this into a laboratory. Um... Go ahead and remove this now. Okay. Then this can be one of the later game things. We can build another lab here. Lab costs 125. Well, let's take care of that now. Um, it's time. Satellite launched. Satellite launched. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum. Now the world is covered. And so this is a momentous time for me. I've never, on Classic, saved all of the countries. I mean, I may still not. Um, but what do we want to do right now? We want to build a facility. We want to build a lab, I guess. I don't really feel like I need more engineers. I could change my mind later if something ends up requiring more workshops. I mean, workshops give you a lot of cash back and stuff. They're really good. Um, and I can always just destroy laboratories later if I need to. Um, Hey, go ahead and build another laboratory next to this one. Um, okay. I've never really, like, aggressively built laboratories before. 
So there's that. We could also visit the gene lab. I probably should have not spent money just yet. Um, I want one of my people to have the skin that lets them see through walls. So there's that thing. What, what's your will like? You have an 81 will, Connor? Hmm. Bioelectric skin. So somebody... We want somebody to have this. Why do you have aim plus 10? What's that about? Um, so who am I bringing on a lot of missions? Like, who's going to be one of my endgame heavies? Because heavies don't tend to need to hide. Like, it could be Snooky, but Snooky had that critical injury that made Cutter out of the late game crew. Um, I think Connor so far is the only one, but he doesn't have Bullet Swarm. He's more of a support heavy. Lord Archibald, what's your... Your will is already very high, and you're... You're already a major, but you also are a support heavy. So, like, do I want to give someone with Bullet Swarm? Let's just go ahead and give this to you right now. Uh, bioelectric skin. Somebody should have this. You are going to be sleepless from now on, Major Ar or Lord Archibald. Good. Notify me. Tell me. Um, all right. So let's let some time pass. I really want amplifying the bullet's okay, natural good. electromagnetic field will allow soldiers to detect nearby enemies without visual input. Okay, good. Good job. Um keep going. Satellites are all operational. Improved arc thrower. Finally done. Good. Um do I care about these things? Not really. <laughs> do it anyway. Now we can build shivs if necessary. Yep, okay, scan for activity. I hope, well, I guess Titan Armor, once that develops, we need to spend a lot of money on that. New fighter craft is done, and I don't have any cash now. That was a mistake. Because um, we can now build a new fighter craft. So let's just recall that I did that. Plus, we have, have this Berserker this Autopsy that I forgot to do. Ooh, so I'm kind of being an idiot. All right, Neural Damping. That's pretty good. Um, what do we want now? Titan Armor? I really want to find one of those Berserkers and make it pay. So I don't really want to work on the Titan armor right now. Um, like I don't know if I want to do the plasma pistol or the plasma cannon. Let's go ahead and do plasma cannon. Um, how much excess cash do we have to build any firestorms? I might have to wait until the beginning of the next month to do it. That wouldn't be the end of the world, believe me. I don't really need them right now. I just want them soon. All right, that's fine. Um, laboratory, Jelly Delirium. What is this? New laboratory bill. Cool. Um, let's just get some more cash back with our workshops. Council report in three days. That would be kind of exciting. How much does a new fighter craft cost? 67, that's it? Okay, we'll build a couple of those right now. God, I'm playing sloppily. Um, let's go to our new council report. I really want to... What is this? Really? Okay, fine. I get, like, vaguely irritated when they're exalt missions. Um, okay, let's send a covert op. Who do we want to send? Uh, Lady Archibald, you can make yourself invisible. That kind of gives me some confidence. But you're already a colonel, so I don't really gain a lot. Phosphatina, we could have it be you. Um, could also have it be Elman. Yeah, you know what? You've got, like, Sprinter. That kind of makes sense. I'll give you... What should you have? Chitin plating, maybe? I don't care. Um... We're currently tracking several unidentified targets, but nothing that requires our attention just I, yet. Okay, be quiet, everybody. I need to go to the barracks and view soldiers, and I need to take a good pistol away from someone. Like you. Um, so give me this pistol. Okay, fine. Um, so covert operations, yes, we want to send a covert op, and we want to send Elmon. Where are you, Mon? Okay, good. We want to send a laser pistol, and I'm okay with you having a respirator implant. It just gives you a little extra health. You probably shouldn't have a med kit, though. Take a grenade. Um, that sort of makes sense. Why doesn't it say hit points plus two? Does not give you hit points when you're covert op? I guess we'll see if it does. So, head over there, Elman, Lego Man. 
Mexico. Okay, cool. So now let's hit a council report. Um, Incoming transmission. Yes. We are extremely Good. impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus Good. far. Good. I'm glad you're impressed. Let's finish this laboratory. Good. Beyond our expectations. Okay. And that is not a statement this council Okay, be quiet, me. shadowy council member. Um, we will be in touch, Commander. Yes, we have now two more heavies? Really? Okay. Well, I guess this means... Oh, and a support. That's what I've been waiting for. Okay, so we're going to have to name this guy something. That'll be exciting. Um, and we'll have to name these people something. Um, and Yumi Goto. Okay, cool, cool. We've got some people we'll have to name at the beginning of the next episode, or that I will name in between episodes and then share with you what I've done. Um, in the meantime, let's look at our hangar and view our ship list. Firestorm construction, huh? We can afford to build one more there, I believe, before we run out of space. So go ahead and build this. What happens if there are... Yeah, not enough hangar bays. Transfer dismissed aircraft to make room. Well, I won't be doing that because I want some planes flying. Um, we're going to have plasma cannon. That's fine. Uh, and then shivs, I guess. We're not going to have a chance to to abduct or, or I'm sorry, to uh, torture a berserker anytime soon. Um... Unless we get alien abduction missions or shoot down a UFO. UFOs are going to be harder to shoot down now. Titan armor is only 10 days. I guess we got a bunch more scientists. So that kind of makes sense. So I go ahead. Your efforts to support the research How team, many Commander. alloys do we I've have? This is what worries me. To work in the lab. We're running out of weapon fragments. That's our uh, pinch right now. Okay, that's fine. Um, not the end of the world. So ships will be done. That was a waste of money. Uh... I bet do do uh, firestorms require weapon fragments because that would be a good reason. No, they they don't. They're lyrium and alloys. Not even that many. Okay, fine. Um, so let's make this a lyrium generator. Then we will never need any more power. Everybody's like, well, we're just standing in here. Uh, nobody knows what a lyrium is, but it seems to be working. Okay, great. Um, build facilities. Let's see what our situation looks like here. I might not even need one of these thermo generators. Like, this one I might be able to cut for workshop, but I kind of want to wait on that yet. I don't actually know how much power we have going on here. I should probably figure that out, because, like, a lyrium generator is 30, I think, and these are... So, like, the equation right now is 122 equals 2 for the bonus, these being next to each other, plus 30, plus 3x. 2 plus 30 plus 3x. So that would be... 122 minus 2, 120, 30, 90, so each of these is 32? Is that right? Why don't I just look? Um, thermo generator. They get plus 20? What did I what did I just do wrong there? 60, 90. I, I'm confused. I don't know what I did. Um, that's okay. So I guess let's wait on building anything else for now. Uh, maybe I can toss a thermo generator later. Um, do we have anything else in the foundry we can construct? Mech close combat, that sounds like something I want. Um, all this stuff I don't care about. I'll make sure production begins immediately. Okay, good. And it looks like we're going to go on a covert op mission next. Uh, once Titan Armor is done, we're going to head down to the alien base. So that'll be the excitement that happens then. Um, and we will send this extraction squad next mission. I'll see you guys then.